How many of you are sitting with poor posture right now? Specifically, how many of you are sitting like this? This is called forward shoulder posture and it's characterized by the rounding of the shoulders forward. My bet is many of you spend most of this, your days in this position and I know you're at home right now correcting your posture, but you're not alone because this is one of the most common poor postures affecting up to 73% of the population. Now you're probably thinking, so what Sarah, everyone's shoulders are a little bit rounded, what's the big deal? But let me tell you some of the things that we know about forward shoulder posture. When your shoulders spend a lot of time in this rounded position, the muscles on the front of your chest adaptively shorten and become overactive, while the muscles in your upper back lengthen and become weak. This causes a muscular imbalance and further affects the movement and stability of the entire shoulder. Not only that, forward shoulder posture is a known risk factor for the development of neck shoulder pain. So most of us have this posture and we know it's a risk factor for pain. That's a lot of potential injuries waiting to happen. Not to mention, injuries cost the Canadian healthcare system over $26 billion annually, and disorders of the shoulder, upper back, and neck are amongst the most common. So now I've scared you a little bit. You notice your shoulders are a little bit rounded and you want to know what to do about it. Well, you go to see a physical or athletic therapist such as myself. The therapist aims to not only relieve any pain symptoms you may have, but also correct your posture. One common approach the therapist will use is massaging your tight chest muscles, and treatment times of only four minutes have demonstrated desired length changes in tissues. So this treatment is thought to not only lengthen those tight chest muscles and return the shoulder back to its neutral position, but also increase the level of activity in your upper back while simultaneously decreasing the level of activity in your chest. However, this has not actually been shown in research. While therapists are taught that this is an effective treatment, we don't actually know if the intended results occur. My research aims to address this phenomenon to see if a four minute chest massage not only corrects that shoulder posture, but also its associated muscle imbalance. I will do this by recruiting 60 participants who have forward shoulder posture. Each participant will be measured for their degree of forward shoulder posture, as well as muscle activity in these two muscle groups, both before and after four minutes of massage to the chest. It is my hypothesis that those who receive the chest massage will not only see a reduction of their degree of forward shoulder posture, but a correction of this muscle imbalance. If my hypothesis is in fact proven true, it not only validates this treatment that therapists have been performing for years, but also demonstrates how a simple four minute intervention can actually reduce an individual's risk for the development of neck shoulder pain. Thanks.